Hey guys, it's Code Zane here, and in this video we're going to be talking about what programming exactly is. Programming is applications in almost every field, from robotics to game development to even health. In this video we're going to be talking about what it exactly means and how it can help you not just in FLL competitions, but also in the future when you're applying for jobs that are related to information technology. So most students I teach, uh, the new ones at least, have this idea that programming is quite hard and complex, and you need to have years of experience with you know multiple monitors, um, and a mad gaming PC to understand what it is. In reality, this could be further from the truth. Programming is actually quite simple in its nature. Programming is simply a set of instructions. That's why when you see line by line codes, that's just one instruction followed by the next, followed by the next. And you're essentially telling a computer or a robot what to do with each line. You can think of it similar to a cookbook recipe where you're the robot and the person who designed the recipe is telling you what to do. In programming, what we're going to be doing is writing down lines of code and telling the robot what to do, specifically and exactly step by step. You've probably already experienced programming in many aspects of your general life. So for example, if you were to go to an elevator and you click the button to hit down, there's a certain program that tells the elevator to go to your level and it's sort of sequential. So it might go to the person above yours and then yours. So you can see how it's line by line and you're telling the elevator exactly what to do. Another example is on YouTube where you type in a search command into the search engine and it'll filter through multiple results and give you the one that's best for yours. There's certain programming behind that that makes it work. Now these two examples are quite complex and we're going to be starting from the basics which is why we're not even going to be doing line by line programming. Our program is going to be block by block and we're going to be using something called EV3 classrooms to do that. You can think of programming as a language and this language we're going to be telling a robot what to do. Now in real life when you speak to other people there are multiple languages you can use. For example here in Australia we use English whereas in India you would speak Hindi. Just like that programming can have multiple languages. So you may have heard different languages like Java, Python, C++, all of these different programming languages that can tell robots or computers what to do. In this video series, we're going to be using a programming language called EV3 Classrooms. So I'll leave a link in the description on how to download that. So go ahead and download it so you're ready for the future series. EV3 Classrooms is based on a programming language called Scratch. And Scratch also has Spike Prime as well as the Robot Innovators program. So all of these can be used to program robotics that we're going to do. Good luck for the rest of the videos. Make sure you download it and make sure you follow on. It's more important that you actually apply the programs we learn as opposed to just watch me doing it. If you do just watch me doing it, you're not going to learn much. Um, you're going to learn a lot more by applying the programs and understanding and making mistakes from them. So all the best.